Hi, this is Aime. Today's video is going to be about dropping the background from a picture. And uh, the picture that we're going to work with today requires a little bit more advanced background dropping because it's not a solid background. So the way that we work with this is uh, we're going to use fireworks, which is what I use for graphic editing. And you're going to go to your left, um, let me see here, your toolbox here. And um, you're going to select the lasso tool. And what you're going to do is, um, little by little, you're going to start flicking around the perimeter of the picture that you want. You don't have to be completely exact, but you want to come as close as possible so that it ends up a really nice edge when you're done. So one thing to remember when you're working with this particular tool in Fireworks, if you click too fast and accidentally double click, it'll close the loop for you. So you have to start all over again. So you want to make sure you go around and you capture the edge of the image that you want to Take the background out of. Almost done here. Now, at this edge here, you want to make sure that you go around, and then we can take the center stuff out later. You'll see how I do that in just a second. Here's the tail. It's kind of hard to see, but if you can kind of make it somewhat jagged, then it'll be fine. Just as close as you can get is good. I'll show you how and why in a minute. Okay, we're almost done here. That's not me, by the way. That's a picture of another another beautiful young lady. Okay, there you go. When you get to the end, you'll see a little square, and it'll highlight that. Now, a lot of people do is they crop that, and what you want to do is you want to go under Modify. I'm sorry, under, um, yeah, Modify, and select the inverse. Do you want to make, select the part that you want to take out? And as you can see, it selected the back instead of the girl and the horse that we had. And then again under the select uh, menu you want to click on feather and click on 10 pixels and that's going to give it a really nice smooth edge when you crop it out. So click OK and then go ahead and click edit clear and that'll drop the background off. Now we have a white canvas back there which isn't you know um, all that nice but as you can see also it kind of kept some of the edges so in order to get rid of that just crop it out just take your cropping tool and go like that okay now you can drop that picture into just about anything or you can change the background let's see here go under canvas and change the right background so you can kind of see pretty much how to drop the background now those 10 pixels added a pretty sharp edge so you can do it less you can do it closer to the image you can try and um, take this middle image out too if you want to and there's a magic tool here that if you click on it it'll try to highlight the color that comes the closest the reason that I didn't use that here is because since the horse is white and the street is white and her dress is white it'll capture all the white stuff on here so in order to take that out you probably just want to do the same thing that we just did and just go around and grab that really quickly like that I'm just doing it quick here so that you can get the picture okay and I would still um, you don't have to do the select background here but I would definitely do um, the select feather just so that it's not a jagged edge when you cut it out just do three maybe so that it doesn't look too bad and then just go ahead and click on delete and that should take it out and then click escape and and there you go you can do the same thing in the center part here 
and you're done. And that's how you take the picture and you can drop this into a banner. You can resize it if you want to. And that takes a little bit more of the sharp edges that you see. But that's how you crop the background out of a picture in fireworks. And uh, good luck with that. I hope that will help you create some uh, banners for your business. Thank you very much for listening.